Hey guys, today I'm doing an undecorate and clean collab for Christmas with the lovely Ty Childs. She is another mommy YouTuber and a friend of mine that I met here, of course. And she is a mommy of two. She has a hubby. And she has a cute little doggy, a Labrador actually, named Chance. Her channel, you'll find a lot of cleaning motivations, DIYs. She has some awesome DIYs and cleaning motivations. So definitely when you're finished, I'll leave a link below. Go over there and check out her channel. If you're new from Ty's channel, I want to say welcome. And definitely, I would love to have you here and think about subscribing. Okay, so as I said before, guys, we're doing undecorate and clean. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do the first part, which is undecorate the tree. Um, basically, you're going to see me taking off the ribbon. I'm going to get all the ornaments and everything off, try to get everything situated and in their select spots so I can go ahead and start boxing them into the bins. My hubby actually purchased me two new bins today from Walmart. The smaller one was $7 and the larger one was 10 And I actually will probably have to go back and get maybe two or three more bins because I have some other items that were put away from my fall haul in the closet. And I just have some other items in the garage from Christmas that I also just want to get situated. Do you guys still have your Christmas tree up? I know some people keep it up um, until after the 6th, or some people have taken it down because a lot of people have decorated early. But definitely drop a line below to let me know if you guys still have your tree up or have you taken it down yet. So here I'm basically just adding the bulbs back to the packages that they came in. If I have the packages, I'm going to add them in there. I did not buy a separate container just to put the bulbs in. I'll just use what I have. And later on, if I see something on sale, I'll get something to add all the bulbs to. So this definitely took me a little while to do. I didn't realize the amount of bulbs that we put on this tree and I actually did not use all the packs that I purchased. So just imagine, but yeah, this was really time consuming. Dance with you all night long Move as you swing your hips Let's take a 
break from the stress and the hate. Feel the loving, feel the rhythm, singing oh na na, oh na na. I wanna go where the birds fly low. Feel my heartbeat, feel the music, singing oh na na. As you can see, I'm using what I have. I have one of the bags that was left over, a plastic bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put holes in there as well to help keep things more organized. I don't want to just throw them in the bin. I want everything to be, you know, together so they don't get messed up. And as you can see, as I'm going, I'm still finding bulbs in different places of the tree. It's like everywhere, and I refuse to get the ladder to undecorate the tree or take the star down. I just wasn't going to go do that, but you'll see later on that I had to get it to go on top of the shelf. I just want to say last year I believe was really testing for my family but I think also testing for other families you know there was a lot of loss of loved ones and things like that so I really believe as I always say that we have to you know take the time to spend time with our families you know be thankful and grateful for what we have stop thinking about the negative which I know sometimes is really hard but sometimes we have to just focus on what's in front of us and you know try to make the best of what we have and usually that's just spending time with your loved ones be it your spouse your children just you know take the time to be in the moment with them
So I decided to do this in the day during my lunch break and I don't know what possessed me to do that because I thought it was going to take me, you know, no time at all, but it actually took a lot longer than I thought because I forgot that I wasn't the only one that was decorating the tree. So here you'll see me arrange things in the bin, trying to, you know, get everything to fit and put things together that I know would make more sense staying together instead of spreading things out, making sure when I go to that particular box, everything for that particular area or room is going to be in there. So once again, I'm grabbing bags to wrap things up or I am using the ribbon or the mesh that was in there actually to cushion the lantern that I put in there because I don't want things to bang around. So that's going to help keep things um, in its area and also from breaking or getting damaged if it gets moved. So as I went up there to take down the deer, I realized that the lamb's ear that was up there and also the lanterns could be for any time of year. And actually we're still in the winter time. So for now I'm just gonna leave those up there and if I decide to remove them a little bit later, then I'll do so. But I think they look nice sitting where they're at. So my mother-in-law is actually cooking dinner right now and I didn't want to bother her with the camera. So I went ahead and moved all the items that were in the kitchen counters onto the table. So here you see me wrapping up the deer in the kitchen towels so they won't get damaged. So as I said, just use what you have. If you have old towels around your home, use those. You know, Ziploc bags. You see I'm using the plastic bag again and I'm going to dump the filler in there because I'm not going out to buy another set of filler next year when I have something good, especially if this is what I want to use again, I'm going to just keep it and use it again. So if you're still here halfway through, it lets me know that you like what you see and you like this video. So definitely think about clicking that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys become a part of my family. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me 
So right now I'm just sweeping up all of the branches. I don't even remember what to call them, but yeah, the branches that fell for off the tree as I was moving it through the house. So I wanted to go ahead and get that cleaned up from the front door, coming right back to the living room area, or I should say, sorry, the family room area. Um, the house is basically somewhat clean because I did clean the other day, like a day or so ago, but the floor always tends to have a ton of dust on it, which I cannot stand. So me sweeping is really no big deal to me right now. So now that we've gotten that taken care of, I'm just going to go around and pick up any of Mason's toys that he has around here um, under the couch or on the TV stand and put them in their areas that they need to go so I can finish going ahead and getting this area cleaned up. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by, I couldn't get him off my mind. He was looking for this cup and that's where it was under the couch, go figure. So I know there's a lot of sales going on after the holidays. Are you guys taking advantage of any of those sales with going out buying Christmas decorations? I know a lot of things are 50% off. I personally have not been to the store to buy anything and I doubt that I will right now. It's not in the budget. But just drop a comment below and let me know if that's something that you guys are doing.
So you guys saw me dust the TV or attempting to dust the TV. I did finish that and I also actually dusted that top shelf over there with the duster that you saw me spray earlier and I also cleaned off the fan and I had footage of it but for some reason it was not on my phone so either it did not record or I deleted it by mistake but more than likely it just did not record. But those things were done. And I know sometimes you guys see me spraying that glass and I never go outside to clean off the outside of the door. Usually I don't do that because that's something my husband does. So I just take care of the inside glass and usually he actually does the door, the inside and the outside. I decided to go ahead and clean the inside as well being that this was a, you know, clean and refresh and decorate. I wanted to get everything looking nice and clean. Right now I'm just dusting down or wiping down the chairs, just getting off a little bit of dust and then little spots I see um, like a little food or crumbs, I'm just spot cleaning those areas real quick. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love the Sprayway Stainless Steel Cleaner and also the glass cleaner. I think that is the holy grail. That's what I feel, my own personal opinion. And that's what we use in our home. But definitely if there are any other products that you guys may use to clean your glass or do your stainless steel, definitely drop a line below. Maybe it's something that I can try and look into. I did spray a little carpet fresh earlier as well. Unfortunately, I didn't get to get that on video, but I do like to spray carpet fresh every now and then. I don't do it every time I vacuum, but for the most part, I like to spray it at least once a week to the carpet just to freshen up the place a little bit.
Now I'm going to go ahead and just tackle the kitchen. As I said, my mom-in-law was in here cooking, so she did do um, basically most of the cleaning and wiping up as she cooked. So I just have to do a general cleaning up because I was, you know, putting up the ornaments and things like that. And that left some dust in some areas, so I'm just going to wipe down the counters and just tidy up the place a little bit more.
So I did come out by the kitchen table. I just edited that part out because my mother-in-law was in the kitchen doing some stuff. And I didn't want to include her in there. As I said, I don't want to have anybody on here that's not really doing YouTube. I want to respect them in that way. So again, I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you're over from Ty's channel, I appreciate you guys for watching this. And definitely remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And for all of you other guys, definitely go out there and check out Ty's channel. She's a great mom, and I think you'll definitely love the content that she has over there.